What up, folks? It's T-Biz here, and we got another G.I. Joe Classified Series figure. This is Sergeant Stalker. This is way super old school to me, this character. Um, when me and my cousin Zero first started collecting G.I. Joe way back in the day, I think even my cousin, uh, his brother, my other cousin, was uh, collecting G.I. Joe at the time, too, together, all of us. And um, I remember having short views, and I can't remember who else, like, early on. But um, out of the nine, I guess out of the nine back or whatever? Yeah, there have been like short fuse and then snake eyes. And that's probably it for a hot minute. And then later, um, good old laser trooper, laser rifle trooper. Anyways, uh, but yeah, early memory of uh, my cousin having Stalker and checking him out and, you know, seeing him. And, uh, and that's kind of a, a weird old memory because I think it might have been one of my aunts that died very young. Uh, of like one of her funerals so I can kind of connect that memory of Stalker to her um, like rosary or something like that if you're familiar with like um, Catholic stuff or whatever and uh, and dying anyways but uh yeah let's get away from that but anyways uh, G.I. Joe Classified Series Sergeant Stalker so let's go ahead before we open this thing out but I always have to bring up memories just because a lot of these like vintage characters have memories you can connect you know, a lot of old school memories with them if you had these when you were a kid and stuff like that. So it's just, it is how it is, man. It is what it is. Anyways, let's go ahead and read this uh, file card. This is a Peach 9 bat card, I believe. So, code name Stalker. Uh, file name Wilkinson Alonzo R. Uh, da -da -da -da. Primary military special infantry. Secondary military specialty. Medic and interpreter. Let's see. I thought it was Tracker 2. Uh, maybe not. Anyways, uh, birthplace. Detroit, Michigan, grade E5. Stalker was warlord of a large urban street gang. So he was like a street tough, man. Street gang. Prior to enlistment, fluent in Spanish, Arabic, French, and Swahili. Graduated top of class basic combat training. Uh, advanced in infantry training, top of class, special, special training, U.S. Army. Uh, language school. Intelligent school, qualified expert in M14, M16, M1911A1, auto pistol, M3A1 grease gun, and uh, M32 pulverizer submachine gun. So yeah, he's he got, he got he's hooked up with all them gats, man. Uh, functions well under high stress situations. Intelligent, perceptive, moves like some sort of jungle cat. Can't even do a cat noise, whatever. Can't do it. Anyways. So fast and strong. So yeah, about to shut up in a minute and we're about to get this guy open and check him out. Anyhow, um, this kind of reminds me of Ernie Banks, man. To be honest with you, the guy from, was it Ghostbusters? But the art, God bless these artists, man. Some of them like are doing some cool stuff. Like uh, we've talked about this, and I remember you know, Overlord talking about this other night, hanging out that uh, some of the art is good on these boxes and some of it's kind of just weird and bad. I don't know. I wouldn't say bad, just kind of weird and... Maybe, I don't know, as a fan of these figures and characters, you're kind of like, mm, I don't know. It's not bad, but it's kind of weird, though. Just kind of, eh, kind of off-putting some of it. And some of it's really badass, too. Like, uh, Storm Shadow, the box is wicked. But um, as the next, uh, as this night and the next day goes, we'll dip more and I guess, some more box art or something. Anyways, let's get this guy open. I'll show it up. Alrighty, here's a uh, good old Lonzo, folks, man. Stars of Stalker. He is rad, dude. He looks like a tough Badass dude, like man, he can just rip you a new butthole, dude. Face sculpt is awesome. Hair sculpt's great. He's got like a fade. Got something in the back here. I don't know what that what that is. That red line going back there. So it's some kind of implant, some kind of techno implant, something there. That's crazy. Anyways, uh, yeah, face sculpt is awesome. Camo's great. Just got that vintage old school look. His boots, all that stuff. Really cool, cool like web gear and all that. It's got holsters, everything that you need to put it all his weapons and his junk. Cool gloved hands. Once again, pretty good articulation. Butterflies, bicep, double elbows. Got double knees, so that's cool. You got you got everything you get. You're supposed to get. He does splitsies, waist twist, diaphragm. So that's cool, man. Drop down hips again. Doesn't bother me though. These are all right, man. That's cool. Yeah, he's he's awesome, dude. He looks badass. Really cool. 
really nice deal. Uh, I'm sure some people argue there's not enough like paint apps or something on him. I could see that, but he's kind of old school, man. So old school army stuff. He's not trying to be all blingy. He's got a cool uh, scarf. Makes me think of like some Desert Storm action or something or something where in the Middle East maybe or something. So that's cool. You can add that to him. He's got his beret, his green beret. So it's awesome. Throw that on him. Get that vintage look, which is cool. That's rad, dude. He looks awesome. That's kick ass. I'm not gonna lie. Then you got all his guns. This one's rad. It's just like the old school vintage one. And it's got the magazine that can pop out. It's kind of it's kind of almost a pain to get in, but you can get it in. So just be a little forceful with it. Yeah, that's rad, it's just like the vintage gun, dude. That's one I'm gonna keep with him. And he's got his uh M1911 with the extension. I had to look this up because I'm not I'm not a gun man, dude. I don't know everything about guns. I know how to shoot them, but <laughs> you know. Uh yeah, so that's cool. And that is a real thing, this extension, man. It looks ridiculous, but it's a real thing. It is real, folks. Look it up. Go to Google University. Anyway, so here's a good old knife for knife fighting in case he runs out of bullets. Here's a good uh holster for his gun so you can actually take this out put it right that there so you got that on the back and go hunting or whatever but yeah hunting for cobras and i think you can get this magazine in there but you have to yeah there you go so you can get that in there and it can go right on his biggity back if we can do that let's see if we can do that oh that's rad dude he's cool he's a death dealer man that's cool, dude. And then put his other pistol over here. So get that going if I can. And his extension. Get that in there. So you got that right there. And then his knife. That's badass. His other gun. We'll just have to get him all set up, man. Oh yeah, I forgot about his other rifle. His uh machine gun. It's kind of nerfy, but uh, it's got the cartridge with the bullets and stuff that feed into it. It's like a separate piece, but it's really wicked and really adds nice detail. That is cool, man. That's awesome, dude. Whew, man. <laughs> I'm going to turn some Cobra dudes into Swiss cheese. And let's say, yeah, let's get this poncho on too. And here he is, uh, combat ready with this Desert Shema on, which is, is not a like a poncho. And it's not really, well, it is a scarf, but yeah, it's a Shema. You can actually get one of these um, just, uh, yeah, and it's recommended for women and men on Amazon. So there you go <laughs> for, for desert combat if you need it. But uh, anyhow, he looks awesome, ready for combat. Uh, he's got his pistol out just in case he runs out of bullets. Um, he's got his backup over here. So I guess it's the grease gun. I'm not sure. But um, this thing, it's kind of hard to keep it in with the uh, punch, with this, uh, I keep calling it Camacho, <sighs> with the scarf on. But uh, look at him, he's a badass, dude. He's a kick-ass figure, dude. Man, he's awesome. How can you not like this figure, dude? This is so dope, dude. Hasbro, they be kicking butt with the G.I. Joes, dude. They really, really do. Their team is just, their G.I. Joe team is just fabulous. But uh, anyways, uh, yeah, let's look at Sergeant Stalker. Really cool figure, man. Very super old school for um for kids for, uh i guess from dudes that are I'm not a boomer but i came from boomers so yeah so i guess you can call me a boomer i don't know anyway <laughs> uh the rat figure uh let me know what you think in the comment section and um yeah we're gonna have some more joes coming up because man stalker's gotta have somebody to fight against man anyways thanks for watching y'all have a good one all right later